What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Nate for Scratch a lot. We're back with a million dollars. Seriously, stupidest name for a ticket I've ever heard of. But we were not hitting the record button, and we started on ticket 29, Black Box Special, 3134. See if you can spot it. 31. Boom. There we go. So, um, as I make it a big spiel about hitting 31, I realize that there's no red button, uh, there's no red timer, and I'm an idiot. So, Let's keep going. Three and <clears throat> 14. Three and 14. No symbols. Um, the, I like the playability down here. I like the ticket's playability. Uh, <clears throat> name and the look of the ticket, not my favorite. Kind of dumb. But, hey, what are you going to do? What about a 13? Do we got a 13? 13, 13. We have everything but. Nope, nothing there. Let me zoom out just a little bit. All right. Oh. 21. Can we get two matches here? That would be nice. Let's match the last number, guys. All right. Let's do the stupid. Hit the like button. Smash the like button. 37. Okay. So we did hit 31. My wife's been on a tear. She has picked uh, two $100 winners, um, a $50 winner, and now today. So this is a winner. You guys saw the $100 winner yesterday. A $50 winner in between. Did not record that one, but... Um, like I said, we play, I play for at leisure, you get on hot streaks, it's all luck of the draw, there is no, there is no way to beat the lottery, um, and we'll talk, these videos are going to be structured like, let's, let's get the scratching over with quick, and then if you want to stick around and listen, great, if not, you can move on, so, 31, we have a matching number, 30, 31, right there, can't see it, there we go. First number off the wrap rack right there, 31, 31. Uh, we're hoping for big zero. If we hit big zeros again, it's just gonna be freaking nuts. I, this place is gonna go nuts. And by this place, I mean me, cause it's just me here. Um, working from home today. I'm, I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess 40 bucks. Let's go, 40 bucks, here we go. Small zeros, 30, okay, hey. Hey, you know what, you can't, <clears throat> you're never gonna go broke making profit uh, it might not be sustainable, but you're not going to go for, you know, if you're making a dollar every transaction, you're still making a dollar. So you're not losing money. Um, now your expenses might be more than, but you know, but right here with our expenses, our expenses right here are this ticket and our ticket cost was 20 bucks. Um, it's funny. Cause I told her, I said, don't pick the seriously ticket. And she picked it. Doesn't matter. It's profit 30 bucks. Um, but yeah, this is, like I said, it's all the right place, the right time. There's a couple guys out there like, Oh, you got to buy this. You got to buy that. When I first started playing the lottery, I had thought that, you know, a book of tickets could have every price. Every ticket could be a winner. You know, I didn't realize the odds. I didn't realize till I started watching some other YouTube channels way back and started my own YouTube channel. I didn't realize how, how the odds were. And you know, when you buy a, when you buy a pack of tickets, a $20 pack, you're in it for 600. There's usually only about one $100 winner in that pack. Normally, normally, uh, you know, so that kind of puts it in perspective. Like when you see someone go, I want a hundred dollars. So I went back and bought five more. That's exactly what they want you to do because you're going to dump the hundred bucks back in. Now, again, there are exceptions. It's not a, it's a, not a for sure thing. And the odds on the back, we've said this 100,000 times, these odds, 1 and 3.51, are at the time that the ticket is printed. That is, for the whole print run, 1 and 3.51. That, that immediately starts to move. Now, I am not a mathematician. I don't know, I don't know a whole crap ton about how that line moves as far as, like, you know, if one winner sold, that doesn't move the three, the one in 3.51 or whatever it is. It would take a lot of winners to start moving the line. But they even put it on the PA lottery site. Like, this is how we determine. Because what people thought was, is that this one in 3.51 means that if I buy four of these, one of them has to be a winner. Like, has to be. Like, based on the odds, it has to be. No, based on the odds... There will, you know, based on that 3.51, you would think so, but it doesn't, it's, that's on the overall number. That's not based on what you buy. They have no idea how many you're going to buy. You know, if you were to buy every single ticket they've ever made, yes, then it would average out to one every in 3.1 and 5.1 would be the winner. So, uh, 
like I said, complicated, ridiculous math that I just don't, I don't math very well. So, uh, but we're going to take that. We're going to take that 30 bucks. We're going to run off to the bank with it. It's, uh, it's profit. We are looking at, I want to say, I want to say, what's that? 30th, 30th, maybe next Monday or Tuesday doing a video for a group poll. Uh, we'll, we'll look at that. I'm not huge on the, uh, internet casino stuff really anymore. I'm just focusing on tickets. And now that I'm back to moving around, try to get the channel back up and running with more consistency. So, um, but yeah, if anybody uh, has stuck around this long, I really appreciate it. Uh, and I hope you guys have a great day and we'll be back with more videos. We're going to try to stay consistent this time. All right. Talk to you guys later.